All right, started recording. Okay, so this is the um, uh, arcade game, which I have yet to name. So it comes like this. Rather than giving you the microcontroller, because it takes a lot of setup, so it comes fully assembled. It's basically playing the game. You launch a little ball, and you try to hit that platform, and if you miss, your score gets reset. So shoot. And as you get more points, it gets faster, and the target gets smaller. So I'm gonna go shoot. As it comes around, oh, I missed. Come on. You see, as I miss, it draws a little circle there, as you can tell. Okay, so I'm gonna wait until it gets a little bit closer. See there, and then it fills up the screen, and eventually, now you can still see your dot go through the blue. The blue doesn't overlay over your dot by any means. Oh, see, I missed it. And this little button here will light up, and it shows you your score at the end, and then a light will flash whenever you hit something. It uses the um, uh, touch command, like the touch function, to know if I've hit it or not, so it's pretty accurate. See there, I've got one point now, now it's going two times faster. You can adjust how much faster you want it to go in the properties of this microcontroller. I highly recommend it if you're not very good at the game, but you still want to... You can adjust how many uh, points you need to score to win and stuff like that. And then, of course, you know, it just automatically resets. But yeah, it's a pretty neat little thing. It's good to have. It's a little arcade game. It's just cool to have it in, like, a boat that you're going to be in for a long time while traveling. Maybe, like, multiplayer, you know. You've got, like, a bunch of people in a boat and your, or submarine, you know, and you're going to be a long journey. This is something to keep them busy. Have this installed. Little game system. You know, I know they got, like, Battleship and stuff. This could be a cool little addition to any arcade. It's a little basic game, I get that, but it's pretty neat. It's a, the first one I've used using that uh, cord, that find if touch command to do s uh, interaction between objects. That's why it's a bit so basic. But I'll be getting more advanced later on. We were gonna do a ping pong, but I don't know how to do the angle deflect, like the deflection and the gravity combined. You see it rotates there, and whenever you hit it, this marker lights up and it switches back. And that delay keeps you from resetting your ball while it's mid-go. Oh. oh, nice. See, now it's going real fast. I'm not very good at this game. Oh, I lost it. But yeah, it's a pretty cool little game. I highly recommend it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll keep it quick.